Dragons by J. L. Weinmeister. We spend another night in Chiquita, resting before the final leg of our journey on Karina. Tonight, I have a story for those of you who love magical creatures, particularly dragons. After visiting Earth again, Gina and her partner Riker had what they believed was a brilliant idea. Being a geneticist, Gina was curious if her team of scientists could create new creatures. She was fascinated by the stories of mythical creatures on Earth, particularly those of the Chinese dragons. She set her scientists to work, and after much experimenting, they successfully created a creature that looked like a dragon. However, they were unsuccessful in imbuing it with magical powers. It took a couple years of tinkering, but they finally succeeded. The magnificent creature was nearly as large as their lab, covered in fiery red scales. It had four legs with massive claws and two wings larger than a ship's sails. It could breathe fire and manipulate air currents, and it had the ability to communicate with the scientists via telepathy. The dragon had plenty of wild game to live off of, and it was intrigued by the people who had created it, so it didn't harm the scientists. But the dragon grew lonely. The scientists labored and were finally able to produce a second dragon. After the dragons became parents, the scientists realized Karina wasn't the best place for a growing population of dragons, so they searched the universe for a new home for them. They discovered a portal near their old bunker deep in the Burzna Mountains. The portal led to a planet they were able to make habitable. They changed the composition of the atmosphere, added water to the landscape, planted trees and other foliage, and introduced species of animals. The dragons moved to this planet, and it became their domain. After shaping the planet of Hassandri and taking care of their dragon problem, the scientists created other magical creatures from Earth's stories, as well as stories from their own ancient history. None of the creatures were as fearsome, large, or threatening as the dragons, so they allowed them to remain on Karina. The new creatures also weren't as sentient and intelligent as the dragons were. The scientists played around with the dragon DNA they had and created new species of dragons, which they placed on Hassandri. The original dragon species preferred the mountains, leaving the forests, grasslands, deserts, and oceans free for habitation by other species. The grassland and desert-dwelling dragons weren't quite as large or powerful as their mountain cousins, but they were still formidable predators. The forest dragons were small and slender to allow them to fit in between the dense trees. The ocean dragons were more like sea serpents than anything else. The scientists' experiments led to the creation of a new habitable planet and many species of magic-wielding plants and animals, but it resulted in a hunger to further manipulate DNA and create new creatures.